So I'm sure she'll be chirping him about that save. So trying to find a, try to find a centering pass there. The Admiral's definitely playing with some intensity here today. And they need to as well because they were outpaced and outplayed yesterday. Yeah, they've had the better chances so far. But uh, Grace has been solid. And as Puckett gives it up to Whitson Lee trying to thread the needle, but it looks like Regan will win that race and Chubba will cover that one up. Yeah, smart play by Chubba. Just get the face off, reset. Slowly getting their line change out. Face off one there by Atwell. Kozak gets a tough shot off and easy pickings there for Chubba. Yeah, good catch by Chubba. No rebound. He didn't palm it, got right in the pocket. But uh, I've noticed the, the Swarm have been the better team on the face off so far. And they've won them very cleanly and generated some chances. Another face off win. The shot from McDonald and Chubba will see that one all the way again. Swarm gets, uh, getting back into the shot column now. Six to five. 6-6 six, six, apparently, oh, six, if, we, six, if okay. we can trust our scoreboard today. Um, Never. <laughs> let's see if they can win another face-off. They've um, set three in a row now that they've won, and very cleanly too. Another shot there, put aside there by Kucha Magos. And Simon's passes, hits the skate of Mel Smith. Here's Chamberlain. Oh, could have, could have passed here to Moses. Moses does get a shot off. And Simon will turn and go around the back of the net. Good pressure here from the Admirals, not giving the Swarm much breathing room. Is Kozak still with it? Try to go around the back of the goal, but a good stick in the lane there by Moses, which breaks that up. And here comes Smith. Just plays it off the boards to himself, but Luke Simon was there first. Here goes Fraser Ellis. Didn't see him last week as he's back from suspension and good save there from Harrison. Both goalies have been sharp so far. They haven't really given up many rebounds. Just catching everything, smothering it. And we see here, yeah, this is when Haywood Jones tried to pass to Sestroni, but eventually got it off. Oh, that massive save. There's a shot there from Flynn Haywood Jones. He scores! I'm guessing there was a deflection there. Um, nope, straight in. I think maybe Grace was anticipating a deflection in that case. It's like, uh, is that Taylor Rooney? Almost got a stick on it. Um, yeah, sometimes that can fool you as a goalie when uh, when you see a player looking like they're about to deflect it and they miss it. Well, it's just what the Admirals needed, a goal to really get them going. And they have started this game with more intensity than the Botany Swarm have. Yeah, definitely their coach will be happy. Probably won't be getting yelled at uh, during the intermission this time. Asula rips the shot. Stepanek trying to get a redirect on that. Stepanek with it behind the net. He's pushed there by Daigle. Net comes off. Good battle for the puck between those two. Yeah, Swarm bringing the intensity now. And uh, they're also doing well to get into Chaba's face and try and take away his vision, but he was able to see that, that shot coming in and block her up into the glass. That's why the Swarm have been successful this season so far, because they are a team that will try to battle you down right from the get-go and right until that final whistle as well. Yeah, they've got some big bodies to do that too. Maybe chuck me out there for fine then, you reckon? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you could be a fourth liner for them. Be their bruiser. As Dixon throws a nice hit there on Whitson Lee. 
And then Puckett comes and gets, uh, I'll tell you what he gets, he's going to get a penalty. That's what he's going to get for probably interference as he hit over McLeish, as we'll see here. Brilliant hit there from Dixon. McLeish puts it up. Yeah, I think it, it's probably not interference, it's probably boarding, but. Uh, I think it was only a little bit late. Um, looked pretty good to me, to be honest, but. Yeah, I think the NZI, or um, uh, NZIIHF rules around uh, checking are a little bit uh, stricter than they are uh, for, for the NHL. So, could be that was interference under NZI check rules. So the Admirals here on the power play. If they can get another goal here, that could just set them up for a really good rest of their game as long as they can try and limit the swarm damage that they will potentially do here tonight. As Rooney goes down the left wing, just bats it in to chase onto. Good chase. They're going to get it back without Simon being able to clear. Daigle gives it to Hayward Jones, down low for Rooney. Up top over to Ellis. Daigle with the one time, that, that's missing everything entirely. And Polozov able to get that out for the Swarm. They won't look for a change just yet, Dalmasau will. Power play is looking good so far. See that urgency and intensity. Over to Ollie Hay. Doesn't control that as clean as he would have liked, but nonetheless. One of those players who loves throwing his body around, Oli Hay. It's always so exciting to watch. <laughs> Love to see a big hit. Mr. Stroden will find Vespa on this near side. He just hold it up for McLeish, stopped by the skate of Jonsson. Does go all the way down, 30 seconds remaining on the power play. Swarm penalty uh, kill has been solid so far. As Regan goes past Mawson, Regan with it, shoots, and a big save there. Puck's still loose, and Fontaine's going to clear that all the way down. What a move by the defenseman. As McLeish leaves it behind for Regan. Probably looking to do the same again. Goes up to Sestro, nice saucer pass, but he was just unable to control that. Would have been dangerous if he could. Sestro puts it down low on the back of the net, but Mawson's there. Passes that, here goes to Panic. He's very dangerous from this position, leaves it on for Dalmatel. Try to find Stepanek crashing the net, but a good stick in the lane from Henry. Dalmatel doing well to keep that in. As McLeish finally gets it out, but picked off by Mawson. And he'll rip one too. Good blocker save there. Stepanek chasing in. Puck finally cleared. Another shot. Tendoy up top. McLeish bats that round. Sestroni's there first. And he'll just whack that all the way down. If they leave it, it should be icing. Nope. Pozov wants to play it instead, and why not? And that will just be offside as uh, I'm not yep. sure Stepanek knew how well was behind him. And you probably can't see the lines very well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was definitely an offside there. Um, yeah. Chaba having a chat to the referee. Wonder about what. Um, yeah, it was a good blocker save by Chaba there. It was uh, a little bit tough to control when those shots are up there by your ears. It popped out in the middle, but uh, the Admirals were able to clear that out. Back underway, over halfway gone through this opening period. It's been a good one. As Kozak try to find Outwell crashing into that low slot area. Run the back for Fontaine. And we've got a whistle on the play. It's going to be someone slashing. It's Ben Steven. Naughty Ben Steven. I missed that one. Um, hopefully we'll see on the replay. Where the slash happened. Were all three Stephen brothers playing today? I think uh, 
Yes, I think, uh, yep, they are. Entire family together, Coach Cam, Ben, Sebastian, and uh, Zach Steven. So Swarm here on the power play. See if they can get one back as that's cleared all the way down by Hayward Jones. This is a scary power play to face. Stepanek out there, so much time and space for him to use that shot. Absolutely, especially with Polozov, Mawson, Dalmatel. You can see Stepanek out there playing that high roll up. Now he's drifting in the slot. Here's Stepanek now. Try to find Mawson. And they're very calm with it too, aren't the Swarm, when they are in that zone. Yeah, they're used to playing on this big ice. Their power play system is well suited to it. And picked off there, goal, scores, it's Vespa. And Fontaine, too cute on the play, gets the puck stolen off him by Max Vespa. Wow, out of nowhere. That's uh, definitely not what you want to see on your power play. That pass needs to go over around the back of the goal. And Vespa gets a good bounce and just puts that home past Harrison for their second goal of the evening. Yeah, that was an unforced error. Definitely need to play it a bit more safely there. And uh, Vinny Sestroni was actually in front of the net, so he could have received the one-timer or uh, tapped in the rebound if Grace made the save. Uh, can't blame your goalie there. Definitely not. And another clearance. Charged down there by Whitson Lee. And that hits the upper netting. Not sure if it hit it on the fly or hit something first. Yeah, either way, the puck's going to stay in the zone uh, due to the new IIHF rules that uh, the face off's taken where the puck goes out. So refs don't need to worry about deciding who touched it last. Back underway, just under 30 seconds remaining on the Swarm power play. Not a good power play for them so far. Absolutely not. Don't think they've even gotten a shot yet. Yeah, Stuller's pass only goes to Alex Regan on the other team. That one's thrown all the way in net from Strone, and it looks like we're getting another penalty here. It's going to be cross-checking on Luke Simon. Naughty Luke Simon. Referees keeping their whistles warm this period. A lot of penalties so far. Maybe a bit of frustration from the Swarm taking that one. You got uh, six seconds of four on four before the Admirals go on the power play. They're probably hoping to have a more successful power play than the Swarm did. So we'll be four and four for just six seconds, and then we'll get Ben Steven out of the box. At the top to Daigle. As Ben Steven goes directly to the bench. So Rooney will be out there for the Emeralds. Shot there from Daig. And a good glove save had to be made there by Harrison. Yeah, maybe shot a little bit too early since uh, there wasn't enough traffic in front of her. Just testing her to see if she's awake. But uh, she's up to the task, made the catch, no rebound. One by Ollie Hay. There you go over to Alice. He'll get it back. He's got Ollie Hay on the left once at one time. Gets it, but fans on it. And that's cleared all the, the length of the ice there by Mawson. Yeah, it looks like they are trying to get more traffic in front of Graves, but uh, weren't able to get that shot through. A little battle for it in the corner. Alice will have it now. Up high, back to Alice. 
Good puck movement. Need to get some shots going, though. Good block there by Sandoy. A shot there from Hayward Jones, and a big save needed to be made from Harrison. Yeah, I think that deflected off her own defenseman's stick. Good thing that she was alert, got down, and made the save. Here's Gary McLeish. He finds Vespa, the last goal scorer of the game. He just puts a ripper on net from the points. So Astroni was looking for a redirect. Yeah, he almost got a stick on it. Yeah. That was close. Here goes McLeish. And bad pass. That will go the length of the ice. So the Swarm will survive this penalty kill. Yeah, the Swarm did well there on the penalty kill. Didn't really give the Admirals a sniff. So Fuller will turn back around. Fontaine picked up there and it, Alex Regan was just offside. Didn't see how close his teammate was to getting back onside there. And can't see the lines either. <laughs> That's right. With the head ref, Tyler Hazelmore, doing the best he can <laughs> and rocking a very nice mustache, if I do say so myself. Oh, yeah, love a good stash. Taylor Rooney's got a magnificent stash, too. Yeah, that's, that's not bad, yeah. <laughs> I, I appreciate that one. There's Caleb with the magnificent flow as well. That's long. <laughs> Fontaine, nice pass over to Atwell. He shoots, scores! What a snipe by Atwell. That is a great shot. See it on the replay here. Here's Fontaine, nice backhand saucy pass over to Atwell and he does not miss his spot. Yeah, low glove. That's, um, a lot of players think they need to shoot high to beat the goalie, but actually the, uh, the shots that are just over the pad, about 12 inches off the ice, those are often the most difficult to stop because you really need to stretch down to get to those. So, Atwell with that killer instinct, getting it past Chaba, just over the pad, left side. That's the Connor Bedard special, which we'll see from him in Chicago this year, I think. Here's a shot there from Dalmatau. That just missed after a good work ethic from Stepanek, lifting up the sticks of the defenseman. And Dalmatau sticking his uh, stick out there, trying to get a redirect on that, which was around the belt area. Yeah, he scored a nice deflection yesterday. Stepanek with a cross ice pass that was dangerous through the crease so panic try to go on that near side and get a shot off the guy just shoots from any angles why not yeah might as well Chubba was moving so if he uh, if he got that shot off quick he could have beaten him he's down the towel behind the net puts it down low for the panic he tried to find a Dumbtail once again, but Captain Daig making a good interception. Here's the panic with it though. Finds Sandoy, doesn't get a good enough shot off. Looks like it's pressure there by Hayward Jones. Here's the panic with a shot. And here goes Moses the other way. After a good block, had Riley Smith in the middle, but the pass was not the best. I'm impressed he was able to skate and here's Janssen with on a breakaway. Janssen, good pad save by Chuba. Try to go five massive off. save. That's what you want from your goalie. He's keeping them in the game, keeping that lead. So some good end-to-end -end stuff here to finish off this opening period. Uh, I think we're probably in for a exciting game. Yeah, this intensity, it's great. Oh, another right, penalty cool. coming against the Admirals. Yeah, so it's going to be Rooney. Rooney with the magnificent stash and going to the sin bin. Two minutes for slashing. Well, this gives the Swarm a chance to tie it up before the end of the period with two minutes and 50 seconds left. And they're looking hungry out there. 
They're absolutely buzzing around the Admiral's net. They are absolutely swarming <laughs> each other at the moment. Here's Fontaine. Gets a shot off. Good block there by Regan. Oh, that, that would have hurt. That was in his ribs, I think. But he's staying out there. He's a tough kid. Oh, yeah. Kazak does well to keep that in the zone. And Regan will just bat that one for four runs to the end of the ice. So I'm looking to set up. Get this speedster Fontaine working. Gives it over to Sandoy. Sandoy off the boards to Polozov. Tries to get around Daigle. Polozov gives it to Sandoy. Fontaine whiffs on a the shot there and Vespa's able to clear that. Yeah. Fontaine's looking a bit frustrated. Hasn't had the best period, not up to his standards. Oh, he got the, got the assist on that pass, so. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. That makes up for um, giving away the puck for the goal earlier. Yeah. So Sandoy up high. It's the panics out there. He's up the top. Here he is. Doesn't rip one, gets it back. Finally shoots off the pad of Vespa. Sandoy puts that in deep. Mawson trying to turn away from Daigle, but he knew what was probably coming. And Daigle steals that back really nicely as well. And as far as the panic though, here's Delmatel. It's a rare error from Daigle. Yeah, that could have been really dangerous as well if Delmatel controlled that puck cleanly. And Hayward Jones gets put on his behind. Here's Polozov. Takes the shot. Finally does shoot. And good save there made by Chuba. Solid save. And this, you're right, this is a scary power play unit. And Another penalty coming up as well. Yep. It looks like it's going to be Dag now for slashing. So uh, the Emeralds have had, I think, three players already this period for slashing. Yeah, actually, I'm surprised the referee blew the whistle because um, Stepanek could have controlled the puck and um, Grace was skating to the bench. Maybe a little bit too hasty to blow the whistle there. So Stepanek's getting a bit of a rest before he comes out very shortly, I think, for the next power play unit. They'll want that big shot on the point as soon as they can. Here's Kozak down low. Gives it to Thula. At least puts a good hit there on Kozak. Does another one as he tries to get up. <laughs> and that's cleared all the way down by Dixon. They're going to be missing Daigle on this penalty kill since he's in the box. And that will do it for the opening period. Two goals to one in favor of the Admirals. Mr. Bartosz, uh, thoughts on the first period? Man, what a period. We, uh, we saw end-to-end -end action. We see the shots are 15 to nine for the Admiral. So they've definitely picked up the intensity from yesterday and taken it to the Swarm. And they just managed to hold on here at the end of this period, surviving those few penalty kills. And I'm sure they knew, like, before the start of this game, they need to absolutely come at the Swarm because if they didn't, they're going to look at another game like yesterday. But they've done that, and they, they are deservedly um, in the lead here by a goal. Swarm obviously looking good. They're not going to go away quietly, but, hey, great, good start for the Admirals. Good to see. Yeah, both teams are looking very good. Uh, we The goals that the Admirals scored on, on Grace, the first one, um, I think maybe she expected deflection coming, and, uh, and it fooled her. And the second one wasn't really her fault. There was an unforced error there yeah. uh, that led to that goal. Um, yeah, so she's playing solid, Chava's playing solid. We're getting a good goaltending duel. Both teams are on fire at the moment. So this is shaping up to be a great game. Oh, that is for sure. So we'll have a quick break, go grab a tasty beverage, and we'll be right back with period two.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a good time here so far. I'm your host, Bryce Rouse, alongside Bartosz Evertowski. That's right. How good. So a 2-1 lead here for the West Auckland Admirals over the home team, the Botany Swarm. Well deserved. Shots are 15 to 9 in favour of the Admirals. The Swarm will be starting this period on the power play for a minute and 35 seconds. They, they want to obviously want to look to tie this game up. They've got the Stepanek line out there, but all credit to uh, the West Auckland Admirals so far, in my opinion. Yeah, they've really brought the intensity today, much higher intensity than yesterday. Out shooting them 15 to 9. It's very impressive against the Swarm team. And uh, they managed to hold on at the end of that last period and hold on to that lead. Head ref Tyler Hazemore about to get things going as Dalmatau will go up against Ellis. And I heard uh, for the Summer League, Dalmatau has made himself available, so he will be in the draft, and it goes to the Toe Dragons as well, so. Oh, man. If they get Caleb, well, they have Caleb Chamberlain already, and with Ivan, that's going to be a scary team this summer. Yep. Because they flat-out stunk last season, but uh, just adding Dalmatau, that is going to change that whole team a lot. They were actually uh, quite good in the playoffs. They managed to push my team, the Moose, to, to a final game five. Um, but we went through. Um, yeah. But the, the Toad Dragons managed to put together a good playoff run there. And one of the refs not happy about that illegal face-off. So we will do it again. So next weekend... Uh, this is actually the last home series, actually the last series for the season for the Swarm. So they'll have to wait on results to see where they do finish up. Yeah, I guess they're hoping that some other teams can take some points off the, off the stampede so they can finish first. Get that home ice advantage in the finals. That's right. There's Mawson. Leave that on for Dalmatau. Finds the panic. The panic scores. What a goal! That, that is a beauty. What a beautiful goal! Excellent patience too. As we see here, Mawson leaving it on for Dalmatau. Look at the panic going. Just as easy as you like. He's got some speed for such a big boy. He oh just yeah. Blew past the defense. Made himself available for that pass. And that patience, he didn't one-time it. He took it to the backhand, shelved it. What a beauty. So there it is, the equalizing goal for the Botany Swarm. So they've now cut a two-goal deficit to be even. And Rawls need to get some momentum back or the Swarm will steal that away. As they're doing right this second through Kozak, he's tripped, and that's got to be a... Penalty shot, maybe? That, that yep. ought to be a penalty shot. That is a penalty shot. Probably, uh, probably needed to be done, though. So. Yeah, sometimes referees are a bit too hesitant to award penalty shots, I think, because they don't want to influence the game, but that, that has to be a penalty shot. 100%. Who was it? It was uh, Re... No? Ben Steven? Yep. Yeah, it was Ben Steven. Penalty shot! Kozak's taking it. He is so dangerous on penalty shots. He is so patient, and you never he he doesn't have a go-to move. You never know what he's gonna do. And um, I believe this year in the BHL, he faced off against Chaba in the conference finals and got the better of him. Chaba was amazing last weekend in the penalty shootout. Kozak forehand, good save there <laughs> by Chaba. <laughs> what a save. That was a great move by Kozak. I think he faked me out with that fake shot, but Chaba did not bite, stuck with it, made a massive save. That is so huge. Did a few of those last week. I was surely, I was saying to the boys, maybe the BHL is making them really good at uh, face-offs, uh, sorry, at shootouts. 
Fisher has the shooter and the goalies get to see quite a few throughout the season. Yeah, that's right. In the BHL, for anyone who's, uh, who's not aware, any penalty in the first two periods is a penalty shot during the regular season. And uh, that save shows how mentally strong Chaba is. He just gave up a goal and uh, he he didn't let it get to him. He stayed solid, made that massive penalty shot save only a couple minutes after. That's what you want from your starting goalie. Daigle going over there to give him props for that massive save to keep it 2-2. The Swarm on the power play here for two minutes. I completely missed that. Me too, actually. Referees making good use of their whistles today. Oh, it's uh, Henry in the box. I remember, I... Man, that's tough. Why well, he's in there. Here's Fontaine. Nice stutter step there. Up to the point. Goes down low, Fontaine's there. Trying to find it out well, but it goes right round. Kozak will be able to play to it though. Gets it back. Good stick in the lane there from Smith. He's gonna get it back here too. Puts on the brakes as Thula. Here's Captain Dag. We're definitely glad to have him for this penalty kill. Nice move by Chamberlain, but then gets crunched there from Simon. Can't go past three play players. What a hit. He's not a big player, but he absolutely threw his body there. Here's Fontaine just losing his skate. So does McLeish. A couple of snipers out there in the crowd. <laughs> Daigle with no stick, laying out the body. Here's the panic. It's the panic. Oh, off the crossbar. That went into <laughs> Absolute the roof. rocket of a shot. Wow, it punched a hole in the roof, I think. Oh, I'm not surprised, mate. That punched a hole in concrete. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a good thing it did not knock, knock one of the lights down. I've seen that happen at, uh, at Avondale before. <laughs> We would have had a long intermission while that was cleaned up. So Dixon will find that on a stick, try to clear that, but hit out well. Almost got it back. Did Dylan Dixon. He does get it back now. Couldn't get a shot off those. He does. Oh, that could have been uh, a bad giveaway there, full of swarm as the panic's going to come the other way. He leaves it on for Pola. Pola's off. That arguably could have been a hook there against the Swarm. Here's Dalmatel, another try. Oh. Two saves there made by Chaba. Two massive saves there. Chaba on fire this period. And man out of the box. As Henry, here goes Henry. Shoot, scores! Fresh out of the box, got Henry. Made up for going to the sim bin. That was a hook. He managed to get his stick free of Stepanek. I believe that was chasing him. Got the shot off. Very well done by Scott. I believe his partner Lachlan is uh, unable to watch tonight. She's playing for the Steel down in Christchurch, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Playing her, I think it was 90th game for the Steel. So congrats to Lachlan if you uh, rewatch this later, maybe, to see Scott's goal. I'm sure she will now. She'll have to, if Scott will get home, hey. I'm sure Scott will make her watch the highlights. Yeah. <laughs> quick, 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 come watch this. <laughs> Lachlan, while normally a goaltender, also plays as a defenseman on my team in, uh, in Division Two, where I play as a winger. Great defenseman. Scott's always on the bench giving her tips. There's a shot there from Ellis. It looks like Daig might have got tripped up. Yes, he did. That was by Andy Hay. As Dag was entering the zone, so that's two minutes for tripping. Man, a well-needed goal there for the Admirals here, Bartosz, because 
the Swarm are looking like they were ready to steal this game back. Oh, and yeah. They were only off by an inch or two where Stepanek picked it off the bar. Yep. I wonder if the net will need some repairs during the intermission after that shot. I imagine that could have dented the pipe. Here's Dag up high. Dag all alone. He'll rip one through traffic. It gets. Coach will be happy to see all that traffic in front of Grace there on that shot. Didn't make it to the net, but. Um... Edward Jones. Looking for some options, he'll find Rooney down low. And Zoli Hay will whip that up to Dag at the point. That well trying to put the block on. Dag with a one time, comes off the skate of Flynn Hayward Jones though, and that's up into the netting, so we do get a whistle on the power play. See that great patience from Daigle. What an experienced player. They've really been leaning on him. I don't know how many minutes he's played this game, but he's been on the power play, on the penalty kill. Seems like he's out there almost every other shift. He is a legend for that team. That's for sure. Arguably the best defenseman in the NZIHL. Yep, I'll give him that. Yep. Here's Del Mattel. Comes off the side of the post there, half a chance. Mr. Strone will just lob that into the air, try to get Henry to skate onto that, but Mawson was there first. Still 50 seconds here on the power play. As Regan will just loft that in, but goes into the glove of Harrison, so she will cover that up. And we actually, I actually saw uh, Ryan McDonald for the Swarm warming up. Um, he's actually fully dressed now in uh, some nice looking gears. He is hurt his groin apparently, so. Ouch. Yep. Yeah, that's not pleasant. Yeah, he's been battling a little groin injury for a little while, but now that they're going to have a bit of time off, it looks like, you know, he can get that sorted before they head into the finals. As Pozov is with it, 25 to go on the power play. Great and patience from Pozov. There's Damatel <laughs> trying to go past Daigle there with a nice dangle. Pozov pushed over. Flynn Hayward Jones working well. Puck does come out, that will be offside. Ooh, Very close nice. call. I think that was actually onside. I think nah, that, that was, that was just, that was these, close. <laughs> these lines are almost invisible, but hopefully we'll see on the replay. Yeah, I, I, I could see that one. That was a good call. We get our producers up the contrast so we can actually see those lines. <laughs> oh, wow, you can't actually see it on the screen, can you? <laughs> Barely visible. Hey, rink manager, repaint your lines. <laughs> Maybe we'll see a replay later. I think that was actually onside. We'll have to ask Rooney as Fontaine tries to get something going. Quick shot there from Andy Hay. It was cheeky. I think he was trying to bank it off the of Chaba there. There's Sandoy up top, rips one, hits traffic in front. And Sebastian Steven will go the other way. Dodges a hit there from Kozak as well. That's off a skate, but Atwell will clear the zone. He just puts that one in low. Kozak skating onto it. Shot there quickly from Luke Simon. Stick save made. Josh Steen is out there as well. I'm wondering where Koptev might be as uh, that's Steen's first shift of the day. Shot from Sandoy and a rebound from Steen. Oh, what a massive save by Chubba. Three Couple massive saves. saves. Huge. Chubba has been immense this period. You see Ben Steven, or uh, Sebastian Steven rather, giving him props over there. He is keeping the Admirals in this game. Well, keeping their lead rather. 
So Steen, Koptev and Max Hill getting what it seems to be their first shift of the day. And not a bad line four, to be honest, in terms of skill. As Riley Smith's going to have it in the corner. He's crunched there by Mawson. Regan puts a low. Smith's going to be the receiver. Nope. Mawson comes and steals that. Gets it out of the zone as well. There'll be no icing. As Regan puts a nice shimmy on Steen to get around him. Gets around Andy Hay too. Here's Regan. It's in front. There was a <laughs> shot and uh, not sure how that stayed out. Immense save by Grace. That was huge. Did the splits, got back across to make that save. Oh, that is so tough as a goalie to make that save. Incredible. Yeah, it looks like a well-timed poke check there by Mawson just broke up the play enough for Regan not to take that around. But back into a quick shot there from Flynn Hayward-Jones. That just misses the left post. Yeah, Simon's going to look to skate this coast to coast. And Dag does well to hold off from putting a hit on. That might have been an interference call. And collision there at center ice. Uh, Luke Simon actually ran into Fraser Ellis, but Fraser Ellis had nowhere to go, and that was it legit. As the panic will come the other way. Look at the speed. Man, he's fast for such a big guy. And Delmatel gets crunched there by Ollie Hay. And Polozov will fake the slap shot. Seen those a few times. Gives it up to the point. Fuller with a one time and a good blocker save there from Chuba. That was a massive save there. Beauty. Chuba absolutely immense this period. As Kozak loses his bearings, so did Daigle. Surely Ollie Hayes going to throw a hit here. He does. Every chance he gets. Oh, that looked like a trip there. Sandway with a shot. That misses everything and hits the netting as well. Very exciting stuff here, Laylee. Oh, yeah. I'm loving the intensity of this game. Maybe the best NZHL game I've watched this season. I could be biased as an Admirals fan. It's definitely up there. I th honestly, the Admirals and the Red Devils last Saturday, that was intense. Oh, the one with the shootout. Yeah, that's five the six. one. Yep. Yeah. That oh, yeah, that was, that was crazy. As well. I just love the intensity of these Admirals versus Swarm games. Players all know each other. They play against each other all the time. Here's Mawson. Picked off there by Vespa, but... Unable to clear as Whitson Lee puts that back in deep. That well fighting for it. Tries to bump off Henry, but he's a pretty solid guy. Don't let him know I said that. He <laughs> might uh <laughs> And Sestrone so unable to get a pass off as Andy Hay was tracking back nicely. Puck comes out on the near side. Good hit there by Puckett on Chamberlain. Here's Jonsson with a quick shot. Bad save had to be made. Puckett almost found himself in a shooting lane with a good pass here from Jonsson, which got through traffic. There's a strone. Find Chamberlain who just puts on the brakes looking for some options. Moses will skate onto it. And penalty coming up on Luke Simon. He's going to be cross-checking or boarding one of the, of the two. His second trip to the box tonight. Naughty Luke Simon, stay out of the box. Is I'm sure what the coach will be telling him during the intermission. Uh, he's not normally a guy who spends much time in the box, but uh, as a defenseman, if you, you, you keep doing that, you kind of get accustomed to doing it, so... 
Yeah, tempers are flaring in this game. Intensity is going up. We're seeing a lot of penalties. So Admirals with a golden chance here to take a 2-0 lead on the power play. One there by Dalmatau. Thula comes around. Too clever though, gets picked off. And Pozov able to get a clearing pass up to Dalmatau. He's dangerous from here. Tries to go past Daigle, but Daigle using that experience. Yeah, it's pretty tough to dangle the Daigle. Oh yeah. Thula tries to clear that, but only goes as far as Dag. He gives it over to Alice. Up high. Got a shot off and a great block there from Dalmatau. Loses a stick. Shot there from Dag. Pad save made by Harrison. Dag almost scored with Dalmatau's stick there. Sitting <laughs> fly. There's Rooney. He'll quickly rip one. Ellis with a shot, glove save made there. Oh, what a save. It didn't look that impressive at first, but you see the guy standing right in front of her, taking away her eyes. I'm very impressed that she managed to see that and catch it. Catch it cleanly as well, no rebound. You can see her signature uh, in between the whistles stretch that she does. Here's McLeish, who's having a pretty good season. Regan with a shot. No trouble there for the goaltender. Yeah, good job. No rebound. And there was almost a deflection there, but she didn't get fooled. I think it was Max Vesper trying to get a stick on that one. We're definitely getting a few looks here. Are the Admirals on their power play? 39 seconds to go in that. Yeah, Sorry, Coach, will be, Coach Cam will be happy with this power play. Henry, he's got Sistrone up high, but good read there from Fontaine. And he'll just two eye on that one all the way down. And Regan with probably one last play here on the power play. Gets it back. Regan, can he get a shot off? Crashes into the goalie as well. Yeah, that could be a goalie interference penalty. Um, yeah, yeah, you have to take be. some responsibility there as a, as a player crashing the net. Not supposed to crash the goalie. See if there was enough contact to justify. Uh, I guess there was some contact from Sandoy. Yeah, that's, uh, that's all right. Hopefully Grace is okay. It's uh, You're in quite a vulnerable position as a goalie when you're down on your knees. Um, it's easy to get a knee injury when a player flies into you. Uh, she's looking okay, just adjusting her equipment. And be underway shortly, I think. Good to see she's all good. And face off, I think is coming outside the zone due to the contact with Grace. One there by Chamberlain, but Pozov looking to come steal the show. Luke Simon out of the box. I'm sure he'll be going straight to the bench, get that other attacker on. Good toe drag there by Mawson. Almost found Dumtail picked off nicely there by Mason Kennedy. And Moses trying to win the race against Mawson, unable to that time. Up by pass to Dumtail, couldn't get anything on it, so it is icing. And not sure why the whistle has blown for that when it was a 50 50 race to the puck. Yeah, referees are very keen to use their whistles today. <laughs> and. It's going to be at center ice because they know it was probably the wrong call. <laughs> there was a viral clip uh, fairly recently where uh, it was a beer league game and the players decided to put the referee in the box <laughs> for making too many bad calls. <laughs> Are we allowed to do that in the end of that IHL? 
I hope so. <laughs> we'll definitely try it in the bear trailers here, eh? <laughs> that is a great idea. It's the panic. Couldn't kind of whiffed on the shot. Only because he receives the pass and almost gets the shot off We're within probably 25% of a second as Chamberlain tries to make a nice move through Simon, a centering pass to Smith. Good it's stick picked by up there. there. And here goes the panic. Peter Stepanek puts on the brakes and gets. Would that be tripping? Probably not. Uh, that should be a tripping call, I think. Stepanek there, trying to get a redirect. Trying to get brushed off there, too, from Moses, but the beast went nowhere. Didn't look like the Admiral's defenseman got the puck there as he slid into Stepanek. I, I think that ought to have been a tripping call, actually. Yeah, that's right. Someone put the referee in the sin bin. Shot there from Atwell, picked off, and then Thrula tries again. Swing pass to Sepanik, he scores! He got his revenge. You just, you cannot leave Sepanik open in the slot. You might as well. And once again, he gets another goal. This crowd is loving it. Yeah, that was well played. Was that Polozov with the assist there to Stepanek, or was that Thuler? I think it was Thuler. Yeah, that was a smart play from him. You saw Chaba getting up, and as he was getting up, Thuler made that pass, just chipped it into the slot, and uh, Chaba, as a result, was a little bit slow getting across. Uh, but credit to Thuler. And, uh, oh, wow. Yep. That was almost a goal again. Yeah, so the shot went wide and went over to the opposite side of the goal, and Kozak almost snuck that by. Again, stoppage due to the net coming off. Wow, that was another good chance. Almost 4 3. So Atwell against Sebastian Steven. As Dixon will clear the zone. And that is icing as Mawson wasn't over the halfway line before he dumped that part. Sebastian Steven can win another face off here and get a chance for the Admirals. Yeah, there's Quigley out there. Traveled with uh, the Admirals last weekend. Shot there from the point. Solid young player, Leon. Here's Flynn Hayward Jones. He'll go for a bit of a skate. Back up to Daigle there from Quigley. He'll rip one on there to redirect there from Dixon, but he lifted that too high. Yeah, uh, that was up into the netting, but um, that's what you like to see, getting that traffic in front of Grace. Getting sticks on the shots. When it's deflected right in front of you, there's not much you can do as a goalie. There's just no time to react. You just have to hope it hits you. That's right. And Hayward Jones needed to get a quick shot off there, but he was unable to as Whitson Lee was stepping up on him. Daigle dodges a good hit. And Sandoy bats it around. Looks like they had the Admirals are there first. Oli Hay unable to control that as Luke Simon's going to punch that up to Jonsson. Good few hits uh, being dished out, nice and clean as well. As the ref wants the one too, he almost got sandwiched. As Jonsson Trying to steal that. 
puck just hanging around in that far side momentarily. Good hit there from Hay on Sandoy. I'm loving this intensity. And then Sandoy gets Ollie Hay back as well. Man, there must be about 10 or 15 hits in the last 10 or 15 seconds as well. It's just, <laughs> it's a hit fest around there at the moment. Yeah, it's awesome. And especially on this big international ice, uh, Olympic-sized ice surface, Sometimes when you play on a big ice surface like this, you don't see quite as much physicality, but both teams are bringing it today. That they are. So we did get a whistle, not sure what it was for, maybe offside or... I'm not sure either. Referee's whistle is getting cold, maybe. So the head ref Tyler Hazelmore just explaining something to the swarm bench there. Not sure exactly, but he is going to explain it to the Admirals one as well. They're having a long chat there. Coach Cam wants an explanation from the refs for blowing the whistle, I think. Just about to get underway again. Just over three to go here in the second period. Shots at 25 to 20 in favor of the Admirals. A three-all game, which has been a dandy one so far. And that's going to be icing as Sistrone was unable to touch that. I think the Swarm will be happy. They've been really good on the face-offs today, uh, especially young Ivan Dalmato. Uh, so he's a young kid, but he's so good on the face-offs, and often being good at face-offs comes with experience. Somehow he's perfected his craft already. Didn't win that one though. So Henry brings that in. Here's the Strone. Can he get a shot off? His pressure there from Stepanek. He does get a backhand shot off, but was not on target. That was a great chance though. There's Stepanek trying to find Dalmatel, but a good stick in the lane there from McLeish. That was crucial. His rigs would just bat that in. Sendoy passes it around to Mawson. Looks like uh, Vesper took a tumble there. Trying to look for Polozov. He will find him. And here's the panic. Try to leave it on for Dalmatau, but Moses comes in with a good stick. As Dumbtow just gets a touch on that, so no, it will be icing. Good opportunity for the Admirals with a minute 36 to maybe create some pressure in the Swarm's defensive zone. Regan's had a great period. Uh, he's a defenseman, but we've seen him joining the rush creating chaos in front of that very often. He is an extremely good young player, that is for sure. Quick shot there from Smith while turning. Yeah, we uh, he plays for my team, the Mooseheads, in the BHL, and we definitely missed him while he was away at the IHF World Championships. He goes that well, stolen off Dago that well. A rebound there for Kozak. Big save made there by the Admiral's goaltender. Yeah, a huge save by Chaba there with only a minute and so left to play in this period. And a quick shot there from Chamberlain on the far side. I think the Swarm were maybe looking for a uh, icing call. And someone's getting a penalty here for talking. Who's the naughty boy that's going to the box? It's, um, 
for the young goalies watching at home, that was some good stick work by Grace. It wasn't a, a difficult shot for her to phase, but you can see that she got her stick involved in the play and was able to lift the puck up into the netting to get a face off. Yeah, so it's going to be Sandoy. Nguyen and Gretzky or Bobby Orr, <laughs> take your pack. But he is in the box for two. Let's see what happens when he comes out of the box. Is he going to get another immediate penalty like yesterday? <laughs> is he going to try and break his record? Maybe. Here's Ellis. He rips one. A rebound. Oh, couldn't put it home. Flynn Hayward Jones had the puck right there. What Looks a like, defensive play. Was that Mawson? I think it was. Maybe a candidate for save of the game by Moss in there. Ollie Hay with it. Tried to give it up to Daigle, but picked off nicely there by Polozov. Now find Dalmatel. Dalmatel going to the net. Backhand, a good shot, but not too troubling for Chuba. Yeah, that's not what you want to see on your power play. Um, good job by Ivan Dalmatel. Here we go. Yep. It was Stephen Mawson with a crease clearance. Beauty. Candidate for save of the game there. Press off one there by Oli Hayes. Dagger will look to set up things. 15 seconds to go in this period. Swarm doing really well on the penalty kills so far. As Dagger's rush to make a play. And that will do it here for the second period of game two of the weekend. A three-all hockey game, 27 to 22 shots in favor of the Admirals there, Bartosz. The Swarm, yeah. Swarm definitely looking a little bit better than they were in that first period. Obviously, they know that this team was going to come out for them tonight, but they've managed to stay with them, and they just need, they could have had a couple more goals, but so could the Admirals. Yeah, especially as we saw there, uh, Mawson making arguably the save of the game there to keep the puck out of the net. Uh, this is some end-to-end -end exciting hockey. Such great intensity. You see the physicality, which uh, sometimes is lacking on these big ice surfaces like this Olympic ice. But both teams are bringing that intensity, bringing the hits. You love to see it. So I'd say the best team in the first period was definitely the Admirals. Swarm were probably the better team during that second couple of penalties letting them down though they need to they need to calm down stay out of that box because that could hurt them come the end of this game yeah there's been a, a lot of penalties for both teams but yeah i think the the swarm have definitely spent more time in the box so far in the sin bin. right well we'll uh, take a quick break and we'll be back for the final period of action very shortly
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to the Hive. Bonnie, Auckland, New Zealand. Period three about to get underway. We've got a cracking show installed for you guys. Uh, it's three all. The home team were definitely the better team in the previous period. The Admirals absolutely came out with a hiss and a roar and put the swarm on the back foot. So it's all to play for. It's anyone's game. It's just probably going to come down to who wants it more. Yeah, I'm excited for this period. 3-3, three, three, both goalies playing very well. Both teams bringing that intensity, playing with fire. Love to see it. You do love to see it. Obviously, the Swarm want a win here tonight to try to solidify that first place. Obviously, they'll have to wait for a couple of other games, especially to see how the Southern Stampede uh, do end up at the end of the season. And the Admirals definitely want a win here tonight that will uh, put them, I believe, around eight or nine points ahead of the Red Devils for that third place spot. So and, uh, there's, there's always something to play for in this league, no matter where you are or how far you are away. We do know that uh, the Thunder won't be making the finals this season. And uh, for any football fans out there, so best of luck to the football ferns who are playing at 7 p.m. today and they need a win to go through to the next round of the FIFA Women's World Cup. So, good luck, ladies. Did you uh, watch the All Blacks yesterday, Bartosz? No, sorry, I didn't. I'm a bad Kiwi. I actually just got my citizenship uh, yeah, last week, so I hope it won't be revoked. Be. That's mandatory, mate. <laughs> the rules, got to watch every All Blacks game live. I've seen a few live, and they were great, but um, I don't understand rugby. Yeah, their coach, Eddie Jones, is an, uh, he's a bit of a joker. Oh, I'll say that. We thought the economy would fall if we lost to Australia, <laughs> but uh, we let the rugby do the talking. So I'm assuming the All Blacks won? Oh, yes. Oh, good. Very convincingly. Well done. So 20 seconds remaining on the power play here for the Emeralds. Ollie Hay trying to get something going. Wilson's pressure on there. It's also hit two from Rooney. Ellis will gain the zone, but Polozov gets past Oli Hay, shoots, and a pad save made there by Chuba. Didn't really have to move too much for that. Not the best of shots, but definitely still had to. It was on target, so. Yeah, it's good to get warm at the start of the period after sitting around for 10 minutes or so while the Zamboni did the ice. Here's Kozak with a tough angle shot, right into the bread basket of Chuba. Yep, still looking sharp, Chuba. No rebound there. That's what you want to see when you take a shot to the chest. Don't want it to pop out and have the player tap it in. Getting some nice dance music from the arena here. Absolutely. Love a good high BPM uh, <laughs> tune. Getting the crowd energized. Nothing quite like drum and bass. That's right. Are we going to hear Darude Sandstorm soon, maybe? I reckon if one of these teams can score a goal, then it could be on, as Henry might have something to say. Vespa gets the puck flicked away from him by Sandoy. Kept in well there by McLeish. Goes into the corner. Sandoy's there first, but he is pressured by Vespa, who ties him up for the time being. Didn't know that the puck was behind him. They're still tied up. It's still tied up as Sandoy and Vespa somehow. <laughs> they were tied up for probably a good 10 seconds. Throwing cross checks at each other. Great battles in the corner there. Both teams bringing this intensity again in this third period. There's Regan. Puts on the brakes. But Puckett was tracking back nicely to disrupt that. Janssen saucy pass. Over to Puckett, he shoots, a rebound there. <laughs> Couple of big saves, and it looks like the net is off, so. That was huge, another goal line save by the defenseman. Let's see on the replay who that was. I think it was Moses, yeah, battling oh, it man. out in the Oh Moses. What a save. Is that better than Mawson's save off the line? 
Possibly. Yeah, I would say, because that was out of mid-air, and it was on oh, the, the backhand too, so, yep. Yeah. Look at that one. Definitely missing Moses this season on the Rangers. My um, beer league team decided to focus on playing for the Admirals this year. Ooh, that's a trip, I think. And Smith leaves it on for Ben Steven, who gets a shot, hit traffic in front. Mawson unable to clear, might get it stolen off him. No, he doesn't. And with the net being um, off its moorings down the other end, the face-off always coming outside the zone. That's a uh, shot there, scores! Riley Smith on a tough angle shot, gets it above the shoulder of Harrison. And that's 4-3 Admirals. Wow. I think Grace probably won't be very happy with that goal. But uh, it was a good shot by, um, by Riley Smith. But I think Grace probably wishes that she could have made that save to keep it 3-3. Yeah, what I was saying before with how easy these goals do come off and then <laughs> the face-offs have to be outside uh, the zone as well, which uh, takes the advantage away for the attacking team. Yeah, it kills the momentum. Um, I'm sure Grace will bounce back with some big saves. She's a very mentally strong goalie. The one goal lead is never safe in hockey, especially when you're playing for the Swarm. That's right. The Admirals are going to need to be at their best to close out this game. Still a lot of hockey to go. Yeah, I'm sure Chaba will be tested a lot in the remaining 16 minutes. Yeah, as Polozov actually uh, breaks his stick on the bench. That is an expensive thing to do in New Zealand. Sticks are not cheap here. They are not. Polozov going to the dressing room to fetch another stick maybe. Yeah, he's not happy about something, but play does go on. Sandoy up to Kozak. You can see the coach cleaning up the broken sticks there on the swarm bench. Coach Quinton. Steven up to Quigley. Tried to find Dixon on the far side, but picked off by Mawson. Whitson Lee will gain the zone. And the Admirals will come the other way. Here's Quigley. Try to go through Thula, but... Read that pretty well. Centering pass. No one really there as Sebastian Chamberlain gets a shot off from the point. Good stick by Grace to block that centering pass there. For the young goalies at home, that's what you want to do. You want to get your stick on any passes that are going to go through your blue ice. That's your area. As Jonsson tries to go past McLeish. who's found a spring in his step this season, has Gary. And Mawson has to come step up into that as Sestroni was trying to jump onto it. Despite the big gray beard, Gareth's uh, younger than he looks. He's only 34. Still got a lot of years left in him. That's good, because I thought he might have been 40. <laughs> and panic's going to come the other way full of swarm. Centering pass came off the stick of Chuba. Johnson trying to get it back behind the net, but he's brushed out there by McLeish. He finds Vespa up to Sestrone. No one home there for Sestrone, all alone. As Moses almost steals that back off Puckett. Emeralds winning the 50-50 battles recently. A little bit more effort. They're bringing that intensity. Love to see it. Coach Cam will be happy. And there's Riley Smith. Try to find Moses going to the net. That could have been dangerous if that pass got through, but Sandor is going to come the other way for the swarm. Push it on by Chamberlain, who does well to tie him up. And Polozov comes and throws a hit on Smith, and he's going to get... 
cross checking for that. Stepanek's arguing it. Gotta be careful not to get thrown out there. Is Polozov gonna break another stick maybe? And here's Polozov. Just comes in for the hit when uh, Smith has no possession of the puck whatsoever. Looks like he's uh, trying to keep his head cool. I don't think he has another stick. Maybe he doesn't have another backup. If I was the coach and after what I just saw on the bench and him getting that penalty there, I'm I'm taking him out of the game for that. It's too close to have someone not be able to handle their call. Yeah, coach won't be happy about that. Um, Quinton's a very calm guy. He's uh, real cool-headed, so I don't know if he'll be yelling at Polozov, but... Um, I think you'll definitely let him know what he thinks about that. Face off one there by Ollie Hay. Emeralds with a golden chance here now to go two up in this game. Nicely cleared all the way down by Atwell. Looking to get set up. As Dave gives it up to Alice. He leaves it on for Haywood Jones. Didn't really control that cleanly, none of them. And Dag unable to keep that in as that just went outside. Mawson just got enough on the clearance. Dag up top. Holly Hay with it. Gonna get a shot going off here eventually. Still will try to clear. Dalmatel tried as well. They do keep it in. That is Ooh. gonna be a penalty on Thula. Could be kneeing, tripping. Yep. Yeah, that that's that's a bit dangerous. Knee on knee collisions can turn out very badly. Luckily both players seem to be okay, but um, that is definitely the right call from the referee. Tripping, five on three for 51 seconds. Quite a decent five on three. The Admirals are definitely wanting to score here. Excellent opportunity for them. If the, Admirals, yeah, if the Admirals can hold on to this game, you can say it came all down to discipline for the Swarm as they were unable to stay out the box at crucial times of the game, so. They had trouble staying out of the box yesterday as well, but with that massive lead, it didn't make much of a difference. Here's Dag. So much space they've got now. Rooney to Dag. Holly Hay couldn't get a clean shot off, so he just controls it. Back up top. Swarm aggressive there. They've got to get some shots off. It's five on three. You, you, you got yeah. to set that up faster to get a one-time shot off. Because a little bit too patient. Um, yeah, they want to get that that one-timer shot off from Daigle with traffic in front. That's what you want. But they weren't able to get it. Ellis over to Ollie Hay. Finally gets a shot off, but straight at Harrison. No rebounds either. Excellent job from Grace. Did not give up the rebound there with all those Admirals players, Admiral players crashing the net. So they survived the five on three. There will be five on four for a minute, eight seconds. I think the Admirals will be disappointed with that five on three. They weren't able to get any high quality scoring chances. Only that one shot there that uh, Grace made easy work of. As Polozov's out of the box, he's back out on the ice. Just a throw and try to find Vespa. And here goes Polozov, but Henry tracking back nicely with a bit of speed. Polozov Great steals hustle. it off him though. He's got someone going to the net. He had Dalmatau going there, but the Admirals were back in numbers. Precious time being ticked off the power play here. If the Swarm can survive this and they're only down by one, then they've got every chance of coming back and absolutely winning this game. Yeah, sometimes a good penalty kill can shift the momentum. 
Gray smartly covers it up. And why not? Only 22 seconds to go. And the Swarm have been the better team on the face-offs tonight, so um, they have the advantage being able to possibly regain possession after the face-off. So only 22 seconds left, and the Admirals are hoping they can make something of this power play. As we see, Alice plays up top with Dag normally when they are on the power play. Drop there from Dag, but that misses. Puck still alive. Rooney unable. Yep, we get it back actually. And we're back to five on five as Thula's out of the box. Dag had his eye on him. And that was going to be able to clear for the swarm, he will. Bit of a missed opportunity for the Admirals there with the five on three in the power play. They would have liked to get some more chances. Good hit there by Fontaine on Rooney on the far side. Dag's slowing things down. He has played so many minutes this game. He's been on the power play, the penalty kill. He's there almost every time you look. Shot there from Smith who gets his own rebound. And Mason Kennedy out there now for the Admirals as well. Ben Steven will track back and give that over to Mason Kennedy. He's pushing on by Woodson Lee. Woodson Lee trying to get past Mason Kennedy. We'll get a pass off. It's all over the shot and off the side post. That was flush. Was that off the post or top of the skate? Yeah, that was, off the, that was off the left upright there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, off the post. I think Chuba had his eyes taken away. That was a good chance for the swarm to tie it up. McLeish loses his heels as Polozov was looming, but he will eventually get the puck back. Dalmasau trying to steal it. And Regan just able to get that pass off. It's kept in so well there by Mawson, but finally batted out by Henry. So uh, Henry's partner, Lachlan, apparently just got a shutout for the Auckland Steel in her 75th game, so congrats to Lachlan. Oh, and that's a trip on uh, Stepanek there by Sestrone. Obviously not intentional, but that is going to put the Swarm on the power play to try tie this game up. Vinny keeping his cool though. Not yelling at the referee. Good job, Vinny. He's a bit of a hothead sometimes. Yeah, he's... Yeah. He's all right, though. <laughs> He's a great guy. I love playing oh, yeah. with Vinny. Oh, yeah. He is so funny, though, when he gets riled up, especially when he misses the net. I think that's what he hates the most. So the Swarm on the power play. We've got Kozak, Fontaine, and Atwell out there as their forwards. And what is that? Kozak's asking from the pass here from Fontaine. Sula will give it over to Kozak. He goes around Daigle. Looking for a centering pass. There's Fontaine and batted out of midair by Atwell, but that went wide. What a chance there. Sula almost getting picked off there by Moses. Fortunately, Moses lost his stick. Wasn't able to capitalize on that. Look at Daigle out there, putting in the minutes. He goes to panic. Puts it up the boards. Mawson does just keep that in. It's to panic down low. Up top. Rips and looks like it might have hit the stick of Dixon. It's to panic trying to find a centering pass to Fontaine. He shoots in. Chubba making a big save on that. Had to get across quickly. Absolutely so, immense. One time shot there. Someone loses their stick entirely. I think it's Daigle without a stick there. 
And as usual, the net comes off, I think. Is that, is that yeah. what happened there? It's, it's literally back to where it should be right now, but... <laughs> Oh, oh got to get those marsh pegs in it's, there. It's killing the game, all these stoppages for these loose nets. It's an epidemic. So, rink manager, get some marsh pegs. Drill those pegs. Convenient stoppage for the Admirals, though. Most definitely. They weren't able to get a change, though. So it's a massive disadvantage when you do knock your own net off, we have found. Positive trying to find Mawson who's camped in front of the net, backhand, Dalmata! What a clutch goal by Ivan. Such a young player, he's been immense for the Swarm this season, scoring so many important goals. Oh, he just shoveled that in. And as Did we not saw look there, at the Stephen Mawson absolutely camping in front of the net there with his whole tent set up and then Dalmatel putting it home. Killer instinct. That's a goal scorer's goal. Just in the right place at the right time. No hesitation. Shovels it in past Chaba. And we have a tie game 4-4 with 6 minutes and 40 seconds left. We could hit there from Vesper on Dalmatel on this near side. Looks like the fans might be getting more than what they paid for here today. I'm sure they've enjoyed the show anyway, but it's not over yet. Wonder if we'll get another shootout. That'd be fun. It'd, it'd actually be very beneficial for both these teams because playing three on three hockey, the Emeralds definitely were not the better team last weekend when it came to three on three, so I'd actually like to see what the Swarm can do. So that was a questionable offside there, I think. It looked like Ivan Dalmata was onside and Peter Stepanek uh, carried the puck across and the ref blew the whistle. Referees obviously cannot see the lines, as most of you can't either. So four all late in this one, just under six minutes to go now. Next 31 goal. to 27, the shot's very close. Yep, the next goal is going to be extremely crucial. I'm kind of hoping for overtime so we get some more hockey. I don't want this game to end. That would be pretty good. Admiral's doing, not able to clear. Fontaine will keep the play alive. He'll get it back and a shot. Ooh, side netting there. Kozak doing well to steal that back off Chamberlain. Kozak trying to find Fontaine once again. Thula keeps it in. Mawson with a deflected shot, hits the glass. Great block there. That was Riley Smith, I think, with the block. Now he's carrying it up the ice. And he's got Chamberlain and Moses with him. Finds Moses. Moses couldn't get a shot off though. Looks like Mawson might have possibly a trip there. It. Have Jones try to find Moses there. The defenseman battling in the corner. And picked off there by Smith. Smith shoots and a big <laughs> save. Absolutely massive save by Grace. You love to see it as a goaltender. That was she, a uh, huge chance. She grabbed that white ice. She she got out there so quickly to cut down the angle. That's one of her biggest strengths. A bad pass almost made to pay. Yeah, Smith will gain the zone here for the Admirals. He'll just put something lightly on. Sebastian Steven, first man there. Downtown's gonna come away with it though. Try to find Puckett, but that is battered up by Regan. He'll actually get it back now. So Penix will rip one. Oh, that was a scary rebound there for the Admirals. Bounced right into the slot. It's Penix again, centering past the Puckett. Couldn't put it home. 
Big save by Chaba. Got down, sealed the ice. As Polozov will find Stepanek, what can he do? He's brushed off there by Regan. He does just enough to get the puck off Stepanek. Oh, well done by Regan. It's real tough to get the puck off a big body like Stepanek. Here's that chance before. Try to find a breakout pass to Mawson and then Smith just picks that off. Oh, absolutely immense save by Grace. He needed to probably do the same shot that he used to score his goal in that <laughs> uh, first period. Tough to beat Grace. Another botched face-off. Yeah, that's right. So Ollie Hay against Dumtow. Probably evenly thoughtful there. Good hit on Polozov from McLeish, but Stepanek will give it over to Tula. He'll rip one, but that's missing everything. Riggs unable to clear the zone as Stepanek keeps that in and just puts it in deep. Polozov giving chase against McLeish. See players absolutely stolen there by Dalmatel trying to go through the league. They score! Ivan Dalmatel absolutely clutch. Oh, and the referee taking a tumble there. <laughs> I think we might see a suspension as a result. Uh, you don't want to be knocking over the zebras. Is anybody heading to the box? Yeah, I think the panic is, and Ollie Hay should be going to the box as well, which he is. So I, I missed the uh, replay there. Oh, here we go again. There's a Dalmatel trying to go five hole on the short side. Gets a rebound, stays with the play, and puts it home to give the Swarm the lead. Yeah, it was a goal. It's, it's tough. I feel for Chapa. There's not much he could have done there. He made the first save on the jam play. But uh, that rebound, um, not much he could do there. Ivan showing that predatory instinct to pounce on that rebound and tuck it in. Yeah. Just like his last goal, actually. Another rebound he shoveled in. So we've got two minutes and 58 seconds for the Admirals to come back. And they've got a power play. So this is a must-score power play for the Admirals. Yeah, I don't know why uh, Stepanek looks like he's getting a 2 and a 10, maybe. Probably for knocking the referee over. But that's... He, so Oli Hay pushed him. Stepanek pushed Oli Hay back, which put him on his behind. And then the ref came in and tried to get Stepanek off Oli Hay. And then Stepanek kind of took the referee with him. But you, you can't know that that's the ref. You, you probably think that's an opposition player. Yeah. So, like, whatever, it's towards the end of the game, it's fine, but there should be no suspension with it, for sure. Yeah, possibly not. We'll see. The Zebras definitely don't appreciate getting thrown onto the ice. Yeah, well, that's what is going to happen when you, like, players aren't going to know it's you, yep. for, for one. And yeah, then it was complete chaos. I would have just given them both two minutes for roughing. Mm. Get on with it. Uh, but yeah, the Swarm are down to four. Oli Hay is in the box, but the Emeralds will have five skaters. So if I was the coach, I would have pulled Chaba, um, or I would pull Chaba if they get a face-off in the Swarm zone. Um, so statistically, it's better to pull the goalie early. So the Emeralds on the power play here. Two and a half to go in this one. He's here with Jones. He'll rip one. Good block in the lane there by Atwell. Looks like it might have hurt a bit. Ouch. That didn't look pleasant. Here's Ellis. Atwell once again ready to block. He's a gamer. Here with Jones. Up top to Daigle, rips one, off the mask of, and they score, oh, no they don't. No, they don't score. So that came off the cage of Harrison, and then it looked like all Ellis had to do was tuck that home. Yeah, he put it through the blue paint, just missed the opposite post. Oh, it kind of was tough, he had to bat it down first with the glove. 
Yeah, tough shot for him, but wow, so close. And uh, that's not pleasant, taking a puck to the face. I think that was Daigle with the shot there. He's got an absolute rocket of a shot. Gets your ears ringing when you take that to the face as a goalie. So the Admirals have called a timeout here with uh, 1.53 to go. Yeah, I think they definitely want Chaba on the bench here with under two minutes left and the power play. The one disadvantage of pulling the goalie when you're on the power play is that the other team feels safe to ice the puck and aim for your net. But I think it's worth the risk here. Get Chaba on the bench, get another player out, hopefully win the face off and make a push for that tying goal. Yeah, the face off. Uh, sorry, the yeah, the face off is outside the blue, so I think they will probably look to get control of the puck. Was that because the neck came off? I'm or because Grace took it into the face? I'm I'm not sure why the puck is outside the zone. I'm not aware of the rules there. I think they might actually wait until the uh, man advantage is over first, and then look to pull them. The problem is statistically you're better off pulling the goalie early. For sure. You don't want to force your team to panic with under a minute left. Yep, there he goes. There'll be six on four here for 30 seconds at least. So look, here's Regan. Oh, couldn't get a shot off. And they're going to clear that all the way down, but it misses everything. So the Emeralds will have to start things up again. 15 seconds left on the power play. And here's Regan, a couple of guys up top, there's Vespa, can they get a shot off? It was hard to see the puck there for a second, there were so many bodies in the way. Complete chaos in front of the net. And there comes Josh Dean skating straight to the bench, so Atwell will get out there for him. Six on five, 45 seconds to go. Here's Henry, moves it up for Daigle, gets it back. Try to put a shot on. And we'll need to get a couple more shots here. Time is ticking away. Vega unable to keep that in. Kozak's going to have it. Surely he can put it in. He does. Scores. That just about wraps it up. Daigle tried to keep it in the zone, but was unable to. That is... Uh, Clutch goal by Kozak there to seal the deal. And that's going to be a big win here for the Swarm as Atwell tries to get the fans going. And the fans are loving this. Can you hear the horns on the broadcast? I'm sure they can. This crowd is rocking. And so Stepanek actually got roughing and unsportsmanlike conduct, so shouldn't be a suspension, but the Swarm are winning six goals to four now. Looked unlikely in that first period, but they battled back. And then a deserved winners here tonight for game two against the West Auckland Admirals. Taking this game out today, Bartosz, six goals to four. Shots oh, were actually in favour, 34-32 to the Admirals. But the Swarm have done all they can now to try secure that first place spot. What a game we just watched here. That was amazing. Intensity, goals, hits, penalties, some controversy. You love to see it. It was a good game. It did have everything, didn't it? You probably think the Admirals did not get the job done tonight because they weren't able to capitalize on those power plays enough as they needed to. So they weren't able to get a few go-ahead goals because of that. So yeah, it's going to haunt you. Uh, they will be a bit disappointed in their power play. I think Coach Cam will have them working on that in training this week. Uh, especially their five on three. They had the long uh, 50 second or one minute or so five on three and were unable to really get much out of it. That's right. But uh, they put on a great show for us today. This was uh, definitely a much better performance than they had yesterday. That's and for I sure. I think the players can hold their heads high that they gave it all. 
I'm sure the Admirals know now that the intensity that they came out with here tonight is what they need to take to Queenstown next Friday. I'll actually be travelling with them down there on Friday morning. So I'm looking forward to that and some more hockey. But that's going to do it for the Swarms regular season here in 2023. So they are obviously in pole position and they do have to wait the games uh, for the Stampede to see where they finish to see who gets uh, first and second place to host that home final. Yeah, despite being an Admirals fan, I think I'm hoping that the Swarm managed to hold on to first place so we can see the finals here in Auckland. Absolutely. It's uh, been a while since they've had it here at the Hive, but you know that uh, that second and third playoff, anyone could take that game, and uh, sorry, two games in the aggregate, so definitely something to look forward to. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the end of this season, seeing how it pans out. This has been a great NZIHL season, and uh, you can hear the crowd here today cheering on the Swarm. They're loving it. They've loved their team's performance this year. And why not? They have always shown up ready to play right from the get-go and always finishing off the job really well. But thank you very much for tuning in to the Botany Swarm this regular season. There's still some games to go left in the league. I think there's about four weeks of NZHL action remaining. The Admirals will be down in Queenstown next Friday at uh, the Queenstown Ice Arena, so that will definitely be a good couple of games ready to watch. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Bryce Rouse, alongside Bartosz Ivertovsky. <laughs> Nicely done. I like the get R it, rolling. Getting it perfect now. <laughs> you can be, be an honorary Polish person now. Yeah, why not? <laughs> hey, it's been a pleasure having you here. I hope you've enjoyed the action here this evening. We sure have. It's been a hell of a game, and it's not finished yet. So thank you, everyone, and stay safe. Good night. <laughs>